sounding like Darth Vader up in here, but uh, I just got all this grinded down. And as you can see, it's a little dusty. So you can see the dust coming out. <laughs> And for the remaining dust, I just wash it out with some water. But you see that? Those are scuppers. I did not show that part, so let's take it back to this morning. All right, so this is an inch, and this is about an inch. Obviously, that's all I need right there. That's all I need, right? Right there. So, smaller hole good, bigger hole bad. And too big bad, not, you know. And I've since learned a better method to drilling out the scuppers. Drill a bigger hole than you need, fill it with resin, let that harden, then drill your smaller hole through the resin so it's touching absolutely no wood at all. Look at that. Not too bad. Not bad at all. I had to resin coat that, of course. And then I just do that again for the other scupper, right? Well, yeah. Unless when you're drilling your pilot hole, you break two different drill bits. Can you see that? Of these piece of junk Ryobi drill bits. So uh, yeah, we all know Ryobi ain't, ain't the best, but I figured I'd be able to drill through some wood with these without two of them breaking. We're making some progress. You can see a little bit coming out. There we go. Alright. <laughs> I'm gonna run this down the road and then over to my house. Like I said before, it'll be interesting to see how much dust comes out when I run it down the road. I remember when I grinded out the stringers, which is lower down in this, that there would be quite a puff of smoke coming out, so I guess we'll find out. But I gotta move this crap first, get out of my way. Yeah, this thing hasn't seen daylight in a very, very long time, man. So much more stoked now that I moved it a little bit. <laughs> you can see the dust coming out. <laughs> now that it's all washed, hit it with a bit of acetone and then paint. I figured y'all would want to see the entire painting process, so I'm just going to speed it up, let it play, y'all enjoy. Now what I'm using are the leftover resin rollers because that's what I had on hand. Obviously I would want something a little bit fluffier for the rollers so it holds more paint, so I'd have to dip it in the paint less often, but you know, you use what you got. The pans are just regular pans, the paintbrush just regular paintbrush. I have all of this stuff linked in the description so you can check it all out. A few different resources depending on, you know, the deals. You can check, you check it out. I'll leave them there, you check it out. But the paint is total boat. I believe I got it from Amazon. I'm using wet edge on the sides and then I'm using the non skid which has a bit of abrasive for the deck. This entire deck was in the entire court of that uh, total boat non skid uh, whatever it's called and then uh, that is the wet edge over there. I'm going to get more wet edge. I probably get two quarts or a gallon depending on the price difference there because I have to paint that with the wet edge. I have to repaint everything else with the wet edge. I have to paint up there with the wet edge and I have to paint the gunnel cap with the wet edge. So I'm gonna need more than what I just had, two quarts. Eh, I'll probably get the gallon just to make myself feel a little better and not have to, it's easier to apply paint when you know you got too much. I'm also gonna get one more can of uh, non-skid just to even out some of the not so good areas as well. I'm, I'm gonna go over all of it, whatever. It's getting really dark and I'm hungry. I'll see y'all next week.